Alright, so what is up MTV Cribs? This is Christian Bright, otherwise known as Bullet RC. And um, this is not my crib, but we can check out my room. Alright, let's head inside. I don't even have my license, cops still. Let's head upstairs. Okay, so something that you guys should know. I tried to clean up my room a bit before we did this, but you know, it's only so much room in my room like you guys see all the time. I'm trying to do videos. It's you know, y'all are asking me even. How do I still have room for all my shoes, everything? And I don't know. I actually just got rid of a lot of stuff, so we're gonna go ahead and head inside. As you guys see, my room is down the hallway, and as always up here, Christian. Now that's probably from me being like six, five or six years old, of course, as well. We got all these hats right here. We got all the vintage hats, you know, uh, my Hurricanes. We got New York Rangers, some Atlanta, some Olympics. I actually got a signed Olympics hat right here. This Olympics one is signed by I don't know who, uh, but we got that junk right there. And this is just the vintage hat area, you know what I'm saying? So this is where I keep all the dusty vintage hats that are just clean looking that I barely ever wear, ever. And um, I had this really old custom Mighty Ducks one I did from a while, a while back. Got that one too, but yeah, that's basically just a hat. So this is the room. This is what y'all been waiting to see. You know, we got the shoes over here. We got shoes over here. We got, um, I actually got my display case. I got my Kobe's in there right now. Um, I got my other display case down here. As you guys can see, got the big bangs, of course. What other shoe would I put in there other than the big bangs? And then just has some other call outs. Got my RSVP box from when I got my Travis Scott shirt. Uh, Royals and uh, the whole gumbo pack right here. Supreme because of my hype beast right there up here and uh, some gloves. And these are basically the shoes that I need to get to. I haven't done yet. I also got the heat on my feet right now. Got the Banasi slides because y'all guys know I got to stay cozy when I'm in my own house. And um, yeah, you guys already know the setup over here. I got my TV, the Black Friday cops last year, 50 inch Vizio TV, um, got the Xbox, another Xbox. The tech challenge is just sitting up there. I got YouTube loaded up on the TV for whenever I want to just watch YouTube. And um, basically, down here I got my games as well. I got, recently we just picked up Far Cry, as you guys can see, we got Far Cry. We got Grand Theft Auto, we got Watch Dogs. When I heard about these singers and all they naked pictures, I'm like, did my email just leak? Down here, you guys can see, I kinda got like a collection thing going on. So we got the old LRG book bag. My Mark Wynn pack I use all the time, and then this is just my um, my other Herschel supply bag that I like to use from time to time. Uh, you know, just you know, regular stuff. Girl, I swear to God, dog, man, she's like a walking ATM. But other than that, I guess we can go ahead and start over there. We're gonna keep moving over here. So we got more stacks of shoes, as you guys can see. We got, if you watch the video with me and Tony D Two Wild, the actual cup with the Supreme sticker taped on it um, for the Wawa guy. So. Hola amigos, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, other things you guys can see, New Balances, Nikes, Nikes, Jordans, 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 Nikes, Nikes, Jordans. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could pull something out from over here. Uh, I guess I pull these out right here. We got, I'm not even gonna pull out the New Balances, but of course, you guys always ask me about these jumps right here, and these are, of course, the Air Max 90s, the Independence Days right here. These are definitely a dope pair of kicks. Doing the Yeezy uh, aglets and the uh, lace locks and everything. Definitely a dope pair of kicks. And uh, for all those receipt guys that like to ask questions, we got the receipt right here. We ain't gonna zoom in because we got my address and stuff on there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got the receipt and everything. So all those haters and everybody out there, y'all can, can just see the proof. So anyways, we're gonna move forward from here. And next up, we're gonna pull over here to the closet now. Like I said before, guys, I don't got a lot of room. I don't have a lot of space in my room. So basically, before I even did this video, as you guys see my bed, over here I got the king size bed where no magic at this house at least happens. Uh, none, no magic at all. But got the king size bed. And as you guys can see, one side I sleep on and one side my clothes sleep on. So I got this side for me. I got my clothes on this side. Anything that doesn't fit in any of my like dressers, drawers, um, as well as I got this stuff up here is just more and just to give you guys some perspective the whole outside line of my bed 
is pairs of shoes. So for this corner, the perimeter of my bed, underneath it is full of shoes. So that if that gives you any type of um, idea, there you go. All right, y'all, over to getting into the closet. This is basically what I have left. Down here is like summer stuff, shorts, and stuff that really doesn't matter right now because it's winter time. So basically how the stacks go, there's no real order. I just keep stuff in stacks. I mean, just to pull out stuff, I don't really, I'll just pull out stacks so you guys can see. I mean, obviously we're gonna have a, a little Supreme, you know, a little Supreme on me, uh, some 10 deep on me, a little bit more 10 deep on me, another 10 deep shirt, uh, Thread Workshop, gray shirt, some more 10 deep, some more 10 deep, uh, Superb, you got that too. Uh, you guys guessed it, some more 10 deep. Nautica, okay, got a little Nautica in there as well. Patagonia, Patagonia is good. Uh, more 10 deep, and probably one of my favorite, hold on, I gotta take this one out. Nobody really shows respect to Nautica like that, but this is probably one of my favorite Nautica shirts. It's like this peach, or this, this pinkish color. Um, this junk is just fresh. I wear my Space Jams all black with the Nautica, the swordfish on the back. This this is a fresh t-shirt for a Nautica shirt, it's fresh. Uh, next up, more 10 deep, of course. Then we got Maui and Sons. Big shout out to Maui and Sons. If you guys been rocking with me for a while, you guys know Maui and Sons held me down a while ago, sent me a, a care package when I wasn't even really that big. So I want to say thank you to Maui and Sons. And then the last up, but not least, we just got this Huff crew neck. Nothing crazy. I just like it because it fits loose. But yeah, basically, this is probably like 60% 10 deep. And then the other 40% is just whatever, whatever. And as you guys can see on the top right here, we got mostly my black hats. I keep. Well, I got more hats over there, but right here I keep all my black hats. I need at least 15 black hats because that's all I wear all the time is black, as you guys can see. I got my bench snaps over here as well. I guess I can take some of these down and show you guys. My blood, that nigga won't give me up. That do, oh no, no, oh no, 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 no. All right, as I was saying, a couple of my bench hats, I got this Tampa Bay Bucks. Cop this Los Angeles Lakers corduroy. Um, I forgot what this thing called. It's like a zip back. It's really weird, but you guys know I like my corduroy, so I definitely cop that. Ohio Buckeyes corduroy snapback, all red. If you guys watched my really old feature fit for the cool gray nines, you would have seen that. Next up, we got Clemson Tigers. Nothing real crazy. I'm actually throwing stuff on my site. Next up, we got this Redskins hat. If you guys watched one of my old thrifting videos, you would have seen this one. Next up, we have another hat I think I got from the Isle of Kicks event. Um, this Baltimore Orioles uh, snapback. I actually really like this one. It's an off-white creamish color. Next up we got this Green Bay Packers. This is a pro player one. It's really dope. Got your Green Bay on the back with the, stri the strip. I really need to go ahead and fix some of these hats so I actually get to wear them. This next one was like a brand new uh, Baltimore Orioles 1993 All-Star Game hat. All white. Brand new. Uh, basically got this from the DAV. One of the best uh, shops out there. Thrift shops. Next, we got to hoop it up three on three. Now, the story with this is uh, back when I was a kid, we played this uh, tournament called Hoop It Up. It was in Hampton. We played these huge girls. We were like 12 and 13, and these girls were like six foot. So we got bodied on the court and we lost, but I seen this one, another pro player hat, so I grabbed it just for nostalgia. Getting smacked by all those chicks playing basketball. Next up, we have this. Now, I don't know who Mark Martin is, but this is definitely one of my favorite venture snaps. All white cream with the blue and the red. Alright y'all, so as you guys can see, this is on the other side of my bed. Basically in the back of the room, this is like the extras. Not exactly extras, but all the extra shoes. I got three rows of kicks here. Um, as you guys can see, one of my favorite Jordans ever to release is Cement 4s. Got the Billy Hoyles, the Command Forces up there. And also, uh, basically I keep all my older shoes back here as well. Alright, as so you guys can see, these are the O2 Raptors, um, size, I think an 11 and a half. Got a little glue coming off on the front, mm -hmm. so that's one of my older pairs of shoes. Great face box, as you guys can see. Another one we have right here are the Wheat 13s. I came up on these a long time ago on uh, Nike Talk. For anybody that remembers when Nike Talk was actually like on and popping, and you can buy shoes. Came with the uh, original uh, retro card and everything. Probably one of my favorite pair of 13s is the Wheat 13s. Still clean. And probably gonna do a throwback Thursday on these soon, so be looking out for that. I got these as well. One of my favorite pairs of eights, the Chrome eights. Now I kinda like decommissioned the these guys because they're creased time. up. They're kinda dead, sort of. They're a little dead, so I don't really wear them anymore. 
Uh, but yeah, they got the 03 Chrome 8s. You guys know the 8 is my favorite model. I did miss out on those DB8s, but it's whatever. I mean, I completely slept through the release. Like, literally didn't wake up, slept through it. I didn't really expect to get them, so yeah, I'm not really hurt. Next up, we have these right here, the Midnight Blue 6s. I came up on a deal for these for about 160 the only thing about these ones is that the sole is crumbling and um, yeah I just can't wear these anymore man these things got bubbles in the soles if I try to wear these it's just gonna melt like they're literally gonna melt off my feet so I can't wear these because the soles are just gonna completely come apart but yeah those are the four face boxes I got and y'all can see up here I got one of my favorite drawings of all time once again the Air Jordan 18 and the reason for that is just a story that goes with it. You guys have heard me tell it a million times. Uh, being down by the beach hanging out with my cousins when I had these as a little kid, my dad had just bought them for me. I was jumping off some stuff and completely like put a basically a whole huge tear inside of the shoe and my dad got like so mad it's ridiculous. That's why you guys wonder how I am right now, like about shoes. Like I'm not a big stiff about a stifler about keeping my shoes extremely clean or anything, but when I wear them, you know, I'm considering what I'm doing. And you know, I, I don't know, it's just shoes me, man. It's, it's shoes, like they're gonna get dirty, they're gonna get stepped on, people are gonna step on them. People are not gonna appreciate them like you do. They're shoes, you just gotta get over it. Um, but otherwise, the knees, you gotta see the case, like I said before, I got my Kobe Maestros in here. Basically, one of my favorite pair of Kobe's, they move all these watches and stuff out of the way, way, so you can see that, the Kobe Maestros in there. Eating off of his act that I mean. Who the fuck wanna be a rapper but stupid? I mean, who knew that every rapper would a new group? All this stuff is a throwaway. So I got like box cutter, I just dropped, it don't matter. I got glasses, I got sharpies, pencils, or pens and pencils, whatever. And this right here is actually from when I went to the Kanye West concert up in uh, Washington, D.C. You guys seen the vlog a while ago, I did that. And then, you know, I just got my watch. Of course, you guys are always watch, asking about this watch. It's the Nixon Unit SS. I've said that at least five million times, but that's what it is. And other than that, I got my old iPhone up here, a NASA patch, my brush, uh, lotion, Nixon, old prom pictures, and right here, as I was saying, man, this tropical fantasy I just got put on by Dom, aka the cameraman, aka Kid Thunder 2, working the camera for me. Right here, the tropical fantasy QB strawberry for a dollar, 7 Eleven, it's crack. That's the new thing. That's going to be a new wave after Arizona. And these right here are an actual old Nike ID I had. So as you guys can see, these right here are the KD Ampere Golds. When the first LeBron 11 was coming out, before it was known as, uh, it's the it's the King, is it King's Crown? It's not King's Crown. It was known as a um, Paragold or Parachute Gold. So I made these KDs as an ID for that shoe. And um, then they changed the name. So they're just the Ampere Gold. KD6. You guys watched my a ALS uh, Ice Bucket Challenge. You guys know what these are. The Supreme Foams, they are still living. They are still well, they are still alive. They are now on life support. They are perfectly fine. Like I said guys, I wear my shoes. If I want to jump in my pool with my $500 phone pods on, then I'll jump in a pool with $500 phone pods on. That's just how I live my life. So anyways, that is over here. Extras, shoes, more shoes as you guys can see. All right, so getting into the last side of my room, this is the left side, the most congested side. As you guys can see, we got my rack of clothes, and this thing is basically divided up into uh, like hoodies to jerseys to windbreakers to more hoodies, dress shirts, all my flight jackets, and then just anything else is over here. I got the hood by air hanging up right now, but it's anything else is over there. And as you guys can see, I got my um, my wireless bars of shoe boxes from the top. We got one to two to three to four to five to six. So I got about all my jersey. I got the cherry blossom. Then I got snake skin. I got the Islander. I got the black, uh, the elephant camo. I forgot what this one is. I think it's Birds of Paradise, something like that. I got another one of the, um, ah, I'm forgetting what that one is. And then I got the black snake. Um, I got a Supreme Jesus jersey that caused up a little bit of controversy. Just depends on how you stand on that. No disrespect from me. This jacket as well. So look, I'm gonna I'm give you guys a quick lesson. So if I say something, I, I bought something, it's a Supreme jacket. 
is a Supreme anything. It probably came from Supreme New York because when I did the unboxing with this Supreme and Champion hoodie, people were still asking me where did I get the Supreme hoodie from. And I'm like, that's like asking me where I got my H&M jeans from, which is something people still do. People ask me where did I get my H&M jeans from. I'm like, what what am I supposed to say to you? Anyways, next up we got the Supreme Lubang or Lee Bane hoodie. Of course, one of my favorite hoodies that I do own. Last but definitely not least. Um, Probably my third favorite artist is of course Travis Scott. So this is the Ben Trill and um, Travis Scott collab, Irie Trill vibes. And if you guys can guess how much I spent for this, um, you guys can go ahead and take a guess on the bottom how much I spent for this. You, you guys know it was retail, so that's what I got. Just been running the city when I was seven. I got plugged with the mayor. I fell in love and I felt played. That's how the game go. I'm grinding out in Cape Town, all around the world. My name known. A lot of people gonna stay down, but when she hit the fan, then they gone. The dark always. All right, y'all. So that was my room. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I always, say much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. You guys can follow my Instagram and not Twitter at BulletRC. And um, yeah, guys, I ain't got much more for you. The dog ain't got much more for you, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. And um, as always, man, y'all be easy, but y'all need to get out. So y'all be easy, man. 21, I'm eight years in, veteran, never quit. Don't bring your girl around me like Trey Song. These got good things coming. I mean, it doesn't matter, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to shout you out. You don't want to shout the video. No, man, I don't have nothing to shout out yet, man. But I'm just gonna say, just be looking out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me when you, tell me when you start. I already started. You already started. You already started. Okay. <laughs> Alright, everybody, stay tuned to Bullet RC. Uh, this is Kid Thunder Two. I'll be on my way back to YouTube for anybody that used to watch me. Stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So that was it for my crib. Much love to all the fam and followers and supporters, as always. And as I always say, nope. Stop it.